I've got it. Vlogmas intro, you're making Christmas cookies for a TikToker. Oh, shoot! <gasps> nah. But these look great. Mm-hmm. morning vlogmas okay we are getting a late start to the morning but you know what we're alive and we're well and that's all we can be grateful for you know what i mean we can also be grateful for lunch i ordered a lot <laughs> I really did. This is the thing about food delivery. Like, it's just so easy on the app to just keep adding stuff. And I was like, it's a lot. <laughs> Wash my hands. <laughs> Chopsticks. Not gonna lie, something very, very exciting happened this morning and I have been waiting to show you. I mentioned in a recent vlog that I was having a furniture delivery and it came, that's all I'm gonna say. I think I got every single kind of sushi I could possibly get. <laughs> Look at this, oh my God. Cucumber. Oh, wow. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you guys what it is, but we got some new furniture. My bedroom situation has been on pause for a long time. Still don't have the bed, no update. But it is what it is. I really feel like I'm out here doing a mukbang. That looks so good. Please, please help me. I do wanna. This is really that. good. No, it has tuna and salmon, and this one's just tuna. Cheers, legs. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh, there's a smudge. So sorry. Okay, I'm so excited to show you guys. I actually have two things. One I've had for a while. I just don't think I've shown it on camera. And the other one is this chair that I got from CB2. Okay, before you see it, just keep in mind, this isn't how it's gonna be. If my room renovations ever actually get done, we will see how it looks. However, dun da da da. Oh my goodness. I don't think you get it. I am obsessed. So like I said, the chair is from CB2 and I was mostly obsessed with the side of it. I think this is called the something brace chair. I want to say it's Balkal, Balsal. I'm not sure the proper way to pronounce that. I just love it. Like it is so cute. It's so modern, but warm and like cozy like vibes. I think it's gonna go in this corner because I don't really know where else it could go to be honest probably really hard to not notice the giant tree right next to it this is an obvious fake plant because i cannot keep a plant alive for probably anything in my life this is from west elm and it's a faux olive plant if you're looking for one similar like there's actually like little olive looking things even though i hate olives i love the look of the olive tree i don't know it's super nice and then i got this big <laughs> big old like cement planter. I'm 99% sure this was also from West Elm. This one's actually an indoor outdoor one. It's a little big for this plant. However, I think I'm just going to raise the plant a little bit or figure out a way to kind of fill this in, but it's definitely growing on me. The first day I put it up here, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to exchange this and get something different. But the more that it's been in here, I actually kind of vibe with it. It's so different. And I love how much space it takes up. Like it's like, boom, a freaking plant. Obviously I have my TV up here, but a everything's going to be changed. The fact that I can actually just sit and read read a book if I want to right here or like I don't know I'm just genuinely so obsessed with this I also low-key miss vlogging in my room I feel like I used to vlog in here all the time especially when I had my vanity right here but now I feel like I never do I mean it's just it's just not cute <laughs> like like genuinely and there's not really like a place for me to sit until now which is like love this but yeah I didn't realize once I moved my vanity out of here how much I kind of stopped vlogging in here and I miss it and all I want is for this room to really feel like a room it's been a long time i feel like it's been so long and everyone's like what's the hold up i think the main hold up is the bed to be honest and then i was gonna try to keep it a surprise from you guys which is why i didn't want to vlog in here because i wanted it to be like an epic room reveal kind of how we did the office obviously it's taking way too long and 
I am tired of not vlogging in here. So still want to change the walls, take down the wallpaper. I know I like, I love the wallpaper, like the marble look. Genuinely, I have been so obsessed with this, but it's been almost five years of having this room, which love it. But I just feel like it's time for a change. Five years is a long time. So, so need to figure out how to take that down. Need to take down my neon sign, repaint. I think I know what I want to do. I found some inspo for paint for this room. It's going to be very different, but I think it's going to look a lot more mature. I don't know. I think it's going to look really cool. Oh, and then I also obviously got this mirror back in the summer, like June, July or something. And I was also trying to keep this one a surprise, but that obviously didn't happen. But needless to say, the room makeover is coming. It's almost there. I feel like January. I think I just need like a full week to fully dedicate to getting everything changed out. So if anyone wants to help me, let me know. Update, we had some lunch. And I figured I haven't done like a sit down Q&A with you guys in a very long time, so. We about to do it. Also, it looks like my battery may die, so that's fun. I asked you guys on Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram, um, go follow me at Alicia. I always have my handles right down. I forget. So follow me, and next time maybe I'll answer your question. Here we go. First question, how to know when you are ready for someone new after a six year relationship? Girl. Okay, I kind of have a few thoughts on this. So I was in a, like a long-term relationship forever ago. And I remember after like five, six years, even I was thinking, oh my God, like, will I ever be ready to actually like date again? And honestly, I think my biggest advice for that is I feel like I personally had it worked up in my head of like, oh, I'm going to like feel like one day just be like, cool, I'm ready. And it wasn't necessarily like that. I feel like my biggest advice would be like, what is up all this air traveling right now? Something else that I used to do because I was in a long-term relationship, I would always compare new people to how I felt towards the end with my ex. So I don't know, my biggest advice would be one, don't compare any new person to your ex. It's so hard not to do, but just don't do it. My other tip would just be to go out on some dates for fun and do it for you. Like see it as a way for you to get to know yourself better, for you to grow in yourself and nothing to even do with them. And I think you'll actually see how it's way less scary than how it is in your head. Cause that's what happened to me. Jackie asked, any tips for making new friends as an adult? Oh my God, I feel like this is not talked about enough. Making friends when you're older is so hard and so weird. Like it's a lot. I feel like in school or high school, middle school, whatever, you know, you're going to school and you can like make friends that way. And like that can be hard in its own way. What is everyone traveling home for the holidays? What's going on? It's really hard, especially when you're staying at home or you're working from home or you're not like getting out and about as much. I feel like you guys don't even know this. I feel like I've met most of my friends now through other friends. Like for instance, I've met so many of my close like best friends through Remy or Ashley met a group of awesome girls out here in LA and I met them through her. So my biggest advice would just be to like put it out there. Like tell people that you're actively trying to meet new people. What planes come on? That was like five planes. Also low key with social media. I've met so many of my really good friends like through social media from just following each other and like, I don't know, but just don't force it. I think that's the biggest thing. Don't try to force anything. Just go out there and, and try to meet new people. And then you never know what can come from it. Would you ever date someone who's not your type? <gasps> A thousand percent. I think that's something that I've heard so many times people say that the person they end up with, whether they're engaged or married or whatever, they always say that they weren't necessarily their type in the beginning or they weren't fully attracted to them at first or they were kind of against it or whatever. I feel like that happens so often because like you just end up falling in love with a person's personality and stuff. So I feel like especially for anyone who listens to Pretty Basic, I feel like I have like my shallow list of things that I'm looking for. But in the end, I mean, obviously you can't help who you fall in love with. So if I find someone who is not necessarily my type, like totally totally open to dating them. What's your MBTI? This is the Myers-Briggs personality thing. Guys, tell me why this makes so much sense. So I ended up taking the Myers-Briggs test, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of like the Enneagram personality test and stuff. I'm a three wing two and I took the Myers-Briggs and I am an INFJ T. Now I did some research and a freaking course of freaking course. Like when I tell you this is my luck, I looked it up and so many articles said that that type is the most rare kind you could be. Like the smallest percentage of the population is an INFJ T. 
So I want to learn more about it. I want to study it more and then like talk about it on Pretty Basic or something because you guys know I love the Enneagram. But when I read that, I was like, of course, that makes so much sense. It's like introvert, judgment, something. I don't know. I need to learn about it more. But comment below if you know your Myers-Briggs personality thing because I find it so fascinating. And I was like, of course, I am the least common type of personality on this planet. It just makes sense. It makes so much sense. Are you watching anyone's Vlogmas this year? I am actually so sad because this is the first year I feel like I haven't had time to watch people's Vlogmas. I've watched a few people here and there, but as a whole, I'm so behind. It honestly makes me sad because I miss it so much. Maybe it's tonight I'll like binge watch some, but yeah, it makes me sad. Are you planning on filming a What I Got For Christmas? I have literally filmed these so many times over the past 10 years or whatever. I don't know what it is, but for me last year, I put it on my vlog channel just because I was like, I'll make this really chill. I love those videos, but it is weird like getting older and part of me is like, should I just stop doing those? So last year was the first year that I didn't put it on my main channel, but I did put it on my vlog channel because I felt like you guys still wanted to see it. So let me know what your thoughts are. I do feel like I'm torn because I don't think, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think because part of me wants to, part of me doesn't want to. Next question is, would you ever consider acting? You're pretty good in your intros. Oh my God, thank you so much. I feel like I'm actually okay but I'm so much better with like sitcom comedy or theater versus like high intense drama. Cause I did a few acting classes and let me tell you, I sucked. Like <laughs> I did really bad and I realized how much it's so hard and it's such a mental game. I feel like I do so much better producing or directing because I'm thinking about all the shots and what it looks like in the vision and da 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 da. The few times I tried just acting, it was very, very hard to like fully immerse yourself into a character. But when I was on Disney for Bizarre Vark, I thoroughly enjoyed like that type of acting. It's kind of cheesy, over the top, like that type of stuff. I feel like I could kill. So if one day I stop doing YouTube and I never upload videos, maybe I'll be like a mom for a Disney show. You know what I mean? Like the kid's the main character, but I'm the mom. I could so see that. How do you stay motivated with life and keep going even when it gets hard? Great question. Honestly, the times that I'm really sad or if I'm feeling really like unmotivated and just not in a good place, I think those are the times I usually reach out to my friends and I'm just like, hey, like I'm sad or whatever. And just talking it out helps so much. I've learned that I have to talk things out, so whether it's therapy, journaling, or talking to friends and stuff. So I feel like that helps me tremendously. Yeah. One word to describe 2021. A blur? A blur. Blur. The word is blur. Not that I don't remember it. But part of me feels like I don't remember it. Like, I'm like, what happened this year? It flew by. Like, I cannot believe it's gonna be 2022. That's insane. Ooh, since this year is coming to an end, what was your favorite moment? I love this question. I actually answered this on Pretty Basic. Did I answer this? Yeah, I think I did. One of my like top moments all year was when I was in Indiana with TK and Ashley and we were out and it just started raining. And of course everyone's like scattering, being like, ah, like what do we do? And we were in this like outdoor restaurant area. Our friend group ended up just dancing in the rain like not caring whatsoever that we were getting wet or anything like that and we just started like dancing i had an out of body experience i was so happy i genuinely was just like beaming and smiling and it was one of my top moments all year like oh my god so much fun okay last question tk has learned a lot of things from you so what have you learned from her working with you or what have you learned from working with her taylor king i love that girl so much i've learned so much from her she's helped me so much in my personal life like i can't even begin to explain like the way i see her like so outgoing making new friends and just being herself like inspires me every single day i feel like our friendship is so mutual like i love teaching her about youtube and influencing and helping her in that area but i also learn so much from her more practical life lessons or i don't know i can't even put my finger on it specifically but just seeing how she is and like she doesn't care what people think she'll just like go up to anyone and start talking and making conversation and to me i'm like <laughs> what like what how do you do that um, hey guys so obviously my camera died <laughs> so sorry about that but i figured i would end the vlog here i'm gonna go get ready for bed and i will see you guys tomorrow with a new vlog i love you all so much mwah, mwah, mwah. okay bye